Hello, hello, everybody. Inventory is back card, and welcome to another Genshin commissions video. Uh, as per usual, I'm gonna be running some commissions, and depending how long that takes me, it'll determine whether or not I will do something else to make up the time. Maybe I'll do another run of the um, Spiral Abyss, but most likely not. I'm gonna end up doing it either way. Now, I think this portal is actually closer. There we go. And ooh, this one is different from the others. I keep on hitting the wrong button. This is actually going to talk to someone and not straight up fight. Oh, don't tell me it's that little girl wanting to talk to you. Yeah, it's that little girl who wants to talk to the Hilly Truth again. What the hell? Well, at least it wasn't that high. Here we go. You getting yourself into trouble again. Uh, when are you gonna learn? Good to see you again. You remember me, right? Surely you at least remember our friendship building with the village girls. Right, like fellowship building, you mean having to smash their skulls open because they tried to kill you? Only one of them ever <laughs> did, actually didn't hurt her. Uh, that was the first one who just simply started dancing in front of her. Oh well, don't give me that look. This is the nature of learning a language. You have to practice, practice, practice. Rest assured, your efforts were not wasted. My spoken Hilichurn has improved uh, by leaps and bounds since that day. But I also had to get my written Hilichurn up to scratch. To scratch. So after an intense period of research, I have now uh, composed a series of original literature and poems. That said, there are still a few lines I'm not sure of. I need to check the meaning. Could you go and test them out for uh, <laughs> test them out for me? Excuse me. Yeah, quote unquote, test them out. You know, like, read them out to the hilly turtles and see how they react. You mean you. Because technically speaking, we cannot speak hilly nor read hilly Don't worry. I've marked the lines where I'm not quite sure of the meaning. And anyway, I'm sure I can't be... Uh, I can't be too far off. I've already got a place in mind. The Hillichers there look friendlier than most. Just read out the individual lines uh, I've in I've acquired to them. Thank thanks for the help. Uh, come back here after you've read the poem the poetry. I want to know everything. You've got to be kidding me. Over there, the rooms, uh, they, they really do seem to be friendly, yeah, they... I don't know. I have my doubts. She was right. These villagers do seem a bit different. Let's get this uh, recital over with. R recital over with. Paimon doubts you'll find any friendlier villagers these days. Which line should we start with? Are you got to be kidding me? You're telling me I'm supposed to remember that one time where it actually worked just to make this work? 
Um... I guess I'll go from top to bottom, I guess. I can't think of anything else. Silly da Mimi Nunu. <laughs> Not much of a reaction. It seems it isn't interesting in talking. I mean, what do you mean? It started dancing. Guess we'll just have to guess what it's saying from its body language. That seemed to go well. What do you know? The Hillary seems to like it. Go on, read the next one. <laughs> okay, why not just leave it there? Yayika? <laughs> now, that one is... Uh, what is it doing that for? It seems to be annoyed that this is a little too much, f if anything. Is Ella Musk really not good at poets? Oh no, uh, watch out. The others, hi the hitchers are coming. <laughs> ah, shoot us. Oh, what? Care of these guys. Wait, where did he go? Oh, he's dead. Now, I do need to get rid of that shield. Oh, is there a way to actually do that without triggering that fight? Let me know down in the comments below. There we go. So the first one I know was good, but the second one was not. How did it go? It didn't. <laughs> did you <laughs> recite that po po my poetry to Hillichers? I didn't need it. So how did I take it? From the looks of it, I guess I'm not so well. There was an issue. Did you make sure to follow my notes? Or were even... Were even they wrong? Um, sorry, it seems I'm not as proficient as I thought I was. Guess I need to study a bit harder. Thanks for the help, anyways. And please take these for your trouble. I need to get a handle on this. I cannot let down the Musk family name. You're gonna get me killed one of these days. And now there's a treasure chest. I might as well. And one shot in pretty much all of them. Oh wait, one of them is actually still alive. Well, only one survivor. There we go. First round's on me. I'm surprised I actually did not grab this chest before. Let's have a quick look around. Make sure there's nothing here. There's nothing showing up. Some more hillagers guarding around them chest. Might as well. Fake walls. Well, at least not that I can tell. 
Where, where did you come from? Oh, <laughs> he's coming back to find that his brains are, um, gone. Uh, sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> Not so sorry. Hold up. I oh, know, sorry, I saw one of those ferret thingies. Okay, off to the next area. Which is... where? Okay, there's two actually near this statue of the sun, so might as well go there. Okay, we got there, and... It's hard to remain on dry land for so long. One this way. Let's do this one first. This is the closest and easiest. This is probably gonna be kill everyone. Yeah, they filled up. Oh, no. Nearly dead on all accounts. Whoa, that was close. Ow! If I had waited just a little bit, I would have gotten him. Oh well, I gotta get rid of that shield first. There we go, thanks for that little charge there. I do hate it how like that one tiny little rock is keeping me from actually moving forward. No point in enemies. I know that was gonna happen. He was gonna go all the way through. back at him. Oh, I stunned him. I'm not gonna bother like missing too many of my business. I can just constantly stun them. There we go. That's two out of four. And of course, adventure rank 32. Nice. Alright, I do need to keep an eye around me and try and find those the last of the um of the shrines. I still have yet to find some shrines. I already know about that one. Now about the one way up there. Okay, actually, give me a second. Where am I? I'm gonna mark this and take care of it on stream. That's like about here. That. That way on stream I can come back to it. Wait, there wasn't a chest here before. Nice. I'm starting to lose count. I don't recall a chest being there before. Excuse me. Traveler, you couldn't have picked a better time. Last night I was on my way to the city to deliver these goods. Then suddenly, some shiny orbs caught my eye. I, I, I had too much to drink, and I just felt drawn to them. You know, I went to check it out, and it turned out to be a huge group of slimes. 
They even bombed into me really hard. I panicked and ran, but lost my way. It took me forever to find my card again. Then in um, the morning, I found out uh, my key was gone. Could you help me look for it? It's got to be around here somewhere. I feel like it's right under my nose. Okay. Great. It's such a huge area. It's just would I just wouldn't know where to start looking. Mental I was already thinking about using elemental sight. Aha! I do really don't like it how like it instantly like disappears instead of like doing a little fade in and out. That doesn't look like there's much of a key in like let me finish reading Take that. I'm starting to lose count. Again, I just I didn't even know about. Wait, which way do I go now? Okay, so show me this way. Okay, need to get probably an, a better viewpoint. Huh. Where have you been hiding? <gasps> ah, did not mean to over jump. The trail ends there. And it's right here. You know, I picked up something from over there, but the trail just goes cold here and then in this area. That's the usual, I get it. No, wrong one. Yes, yeah, like it ends suddenly here. Wait, I thought I saw it like coming this way. You know while I'm moving is. A buggy using this. It should be around this general area, yes, but I guess all I can do is just have a look around and look for. A any shiny spot? I grab those just in case. Is the quest bugged?
because I follow these, they end up he end here, facing that way. I check this place here, but nothing. something wait over there oh no it's I think that's just a random flame no 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 I'm not here it is yeah no I actually missed this when I was using the site and that's probably why it didn't give it to me right away I found this key, is it yours? Yes, that's the one. I can't afford to let this happen again. I really must uh, rein in my <laughs> drinking. Oh, and take these. Thank you so much for your help. Nice. Oh, primos. And the next one. All the way over there, and looks like I do need to work my way up. Let's go from here. Also, I need to check this if there's anything else, like a key, maybe. No. None. It's actually right above this. I think it's above this. Is there gonna be a fight against something big? No, it's an abyssal mage. Spreading evil. Oh, come on, it's right in front of you. How did you miss? Clear off as many as them as I can. Maybe that was a bit overkill. Now, oh, of course, I get this out of the way as well. Metal pick up 11. Might as well grab the Ooh, goodies. That's the kind of goodies I want. Too bad I cannot pay for this. Otherwise, I'd be getting one of those as well. And loot. Uh, cold beer after a hard day. And that went smoothly. Still did not get the commission that will have me talk to someone specific to trigger. Oh, hello? Uh, so. Sucrose, the package you mentioned that you received before, it's not dangerous, is it? You need to be careful when you're opening packages. I once had a friend mail me some research materials, and all the bouncing around in transit caused a reaction. What? Once I opened it, oh, it let out a stench that could wake the dead. <laughs> no, this package didn't contain any hazardous materials. Sucrose. 
Uh, harmless weedy. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Sugrus is an alchemist from Mondstadt with an insatiable curiosity towards the natural world, uh, leading her to focus on bioalchemy in her research. Whether it be a special potion that increases the nectar output of sweet flowers or a special spark, a special spray that keeps sunset sunset tears fresh. Sunset tires. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Sucrose is always finding a way to use bioalchemy techniques to add a variety and color to this world. Perhaps it is because Sucrose uh, channels most of her energy into her experiments and research that she comes off as a bit shy in social situations. She does look shy. Hey, Oh, hello, you two. She's uh, cute. This is Sucrose. Hi, I'm Sucrose, Albedo's assistant. If you have any alchemy-related queries, you could always ask me. I, I do my best to help. Ooh, she's Amino by the looks of that collar. Uh, you don't have to be so nervous. Huh? Do I look nervous? Yes, you look for Oh, she's turning red! Oh my god, she's cute! But she's cute! My apologies. I don't get out too often. I'm usually in the laboratory where there aren't many others to talk to. She's re wait, wait, what are those? Those are- that's not hair! That's not hair! That's- those are ears! What are that's you? Okay. you don't have to force yourself. Ooh. I already like her. Hey, aren't you Where the legendary are you? traveler? The one who repelled Storm Terror? The legendary is a bit much. I've heard so many stories about you. What are you, you cutie? Opportunity to research you up close. Oh, excuse me? Might I ask what kind of um research are we talking about, Missy? <laughs> research me all you want. Even <laughs> oh, I mean <laughs> Pine would seek the same thing. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. What am I saying? <laughs> Sucrose received a strange package recently. A strange package? Yes. I believe it's from a Sumero scholar who came here to study in Mondstadt. It's most likely a thank you gift for collaborating on some research together. Huh? A package from an academia scholar? Oh, then there could be anything inside. Well, it is a thank you gift. There wasn't anything dangerous inside. Just a bunch of strange cards. Cards? Ooh, no! I wait, I said no! Similar-looking cards before, so I came to ask him about what they might be. I think I know what this is. I saw my friend Jim doing something similar with this cutie. Oh uh, no, not the TCG some cards. Uh, maybe those were the testing cards used for distinguishing reagents. No, I no. don't. No, they're not. They didn't look like test cards. Here, have a look. Hey, she looks so adorable! Oh, you meant these? Huh. Sucrose, have you really never seen these before? No, never. Recently, I've been spending all my time up in the mountains working on cultivating pentatonic sweet flowers. Why? Is this an area of research that has started trending in the alchemical community during my absence? No. <laughs> you could definitely say that it's trending, but not as an area of research. It's a card game that's been getting really popular these days. 
It's called Genius Invocation TCG. Oh god, it is what I thought it was. Oh no, and I'm gonna have to do that next week. Oh no, next stream I'm gonna have to do that. Oh. Long story short, for those that missed the stream where I kind of talked a little bit about it, that. I actually used to play IRL TCG, mostly Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, TCG, but then I played Final Fantasy VIII and did the, did the TCG minigame in that, and I started hating it ever since. Dear God, that made me hate it, that kind of game for so much. I don't see myself ever going back to that stuff, like, because of that. Hey, I ended up playing something very similar to <laughs> what FF8 had on Shovel Knight, the King of Cards, which so follows a similar principle with the same flaw for which the rules weren't really even consistent. Oh, no. I'm not looking forward to having to do this, but I know I have to, to get the primos. Ah, uh, why? Genius Invocation TCG! So this is a game we've been hearing about. Yeah, we've been hearing about this game all over the place. But this is the first time we've ever actually seen any of the cards. We didn't know it had made it all the way to Mondstadt. Must be pretty popular, huh? That's right. The game's been catching on lately. The Yae Publishing House in Inazuma has even published a series of light novels based on the game. The what? The story is really good. Well, that's one way to sell a card game. And a clever one. It starts with a young guy in Sumeru who finds an ancient casket of tomes in the attic. He opens it and discovers that the soul of an ancient TCG player called the Crocodile King has been captured inside. I mean, it worked for Yu-Gi-Oh, it worked for Pokemon, and <laughs> and a bunch of other, actually, games based on similar things. Well, that's marketing for it you, I guess. Out that the Crocodile King was King Deshret's Viceroy, who battled an opponent named the Ibis King. During the match, the Crocodile King fell prey to his opponent's scheme and was sealed away in the Casket of Tomes. After being unexpectedly released by the kid, the Crocodile King possesses him and helps him to gradually climb the ranks and become a legendary TCG player. Right. Uh, Timaeus. Huh? What's wrong, Sucrose? Uh, oh, if you're interested in how the story plays out, I can lend you the novels. No. I was just thinking about that time you requested an extension on your progress report deadline, citing personal reasons for the delay. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, I did go through a phase recently where I wasn't putting enough focus on my work, but it's under control now. I'm Are you sure about to that? I haven't touched Genius Invocation TCG until I've made enough progress in my research. Right, right, sure, you haven't been playing it non-stop religiously, maybe even. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh? Why is that? Well, since it's a gift from a researcher I've collaborated with, I thought that I should at least try to learn the rules. That way, I could say that I at least tried to appreciate his gift. Oh, right! And since it's a game from Sumeru, who knows? Playing it might even make you smarter. Okay, fine. I'm curious <laughs> and would like to give it a try. Please. <laughs> that please at the end. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> that's so cute. It actually reminds me of another character I actually that actually did that a lot as well. That I actually loved. Oh, and that was from so long ago, like, on the 90s. Oh, oh man, I can't remember it. It seems like we can't learn how to play it anytime soon, because Timaeus has given up for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, research is my priority, you know. But, if you'd like to learn the rules of Genius Invocation TCG, then I'd actually suggest you go to the Cat's Tale. That's Margaret's place? 
The cat's tail? Yep, that's the place. It's where everyone in the community goes to play when they have time. They gather there, trade cards, and they're very welcoming to new players. Trying to learn the rules can be intimidating at first, but it's a lot of fun once you get the hang of it. Understood. Traveler, Paimon, let's go to the cat's tail and try asking around. To be honest, hearing Timaeus talking about the game has also piqued my curiosity. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so cute. I want to know what she is. I, mean, I see that little cute ears on the back of her head. Man, I'm gonna have to like read her actual stuff to know what exactly she is. Aside from being cute. I mean, she's not a cat. I mean, she didn't even have a tail. Uh, but that uh, TCG one is gonna be for live stream because something that's gonna take me a while, and I'm going to suffer probably. No offense to any TCG card playing. Well, like I say, I used to play and enjoy TCG quite a bit IRL. I just I like, I, after having some really bad experiences with it. Especially from Final Fantasy VIII, blind men mostly on that. Ugh. I don't see myself really coming back to that kind of games. No, no, it feels rewarding. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Here is your reward. Of course, I'm gonna grab my re all of my rewards, which are more primos. Astra, my eventual rank that I just got. Ooh, 100 more primos. I think I'm gonna have enough to do a poll on my next live stream. Ooh, and I'm gonna get more and more of these on my level 33. Add <coughs> and the last thing left to do will be to check my dispatches. I do this so I can actually build the rest of the weapons I need to build. Actually, did I have this before? Hmm, well, now I do actually, so... Yeah, of course. I just want more resources. This is new. Oh, it's just money and more money. I do not need money. Let's get some more minerals so I can keep on crafting more weaponry. And of course, I'm gonna have somebody over on Sumeru. I think I need that for an ascension. I cannot remember right now. Or was it ingredient? But well, I think I've, this video has gone long enough, especially after having that little cutscene right there. So, like I said, I am not looking forward to that. <sighs> Hopefully, I don't suffer too much for it and that I can get the hang of the game fast. Yes, I am slow and dumb. If you ever want to that tactics, is going to be ready. it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and ring that bell to notify whenever I go live or upload any of my random videos. So I'm mostly live. I'm mainly a streamer. So. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye!